Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Function Foundations Lesson 2 Function Notation Homework Review Part 1. And so here, the idea of a function and as a rule, and we're inputting outputting, uh, is you know important for us. And we've did in the last lesson, we were plugging in values of x and uh, into our for rule and got the output as y. And so what happens now is as a function notation, we kind of change the whole idea. Instead of calling it y is f of x, g of x, g of x, h of x. We use these uh, so that we don't confuse with what everything is, looks like y though. So although they're outputs for a particular rule. So when we see, for example, uh, it says here for number one, without using a calculator, evaluate each of the following given the function definitions and input values. f of x is the rule, uh, rule for the function f. It basically says 3x plus 7. What that really means is you're going to take 3 times whatever you plug in and then add 7. And so notation is 3, so, so, so notation is f of negative 4. f of negative 4 means we're plugging in negative 4 into x. So we get 3 parenthesis negative 4 because input there plus 7, which is negative 12 plus 7 or negative 5. For f of 2, we're going to plug in 2 for x, so 3 times 2 plus 7, or 6 plus 7, which is going to be 13. Okay, so when you see this f of a number, g of a number, h of a number, that number in parentheses is replacing x that uh, for the value in the rule, and then you evaluate from there. We continue with g of x, which is 3x squared. So g of 2 would be 3 times 2 squared, which is 3 times 4, or 12. And then for g, g of negative 3, that would be 3 times negative 3 squared, which is 3 times positive 9, because negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, or 27. And finally, for h of x, h of x in the rule is going to be uh, the square root of x minus 5. So h of 41 will be the square root of 41, 41, 1 minus 5, which equals to the square root of 36, a value of 6. Okay? And h of 14 would be the square root of 14 minus 5, or the square root of 9, which is equal to 3. So the idea of our function notation is that we have the rule, the function f of x, or g of x, or h of x, and the number in the parentheses, or we'll see later on, not always a number, whatever is in the parentheses, will be replacing the value of x for the rule. Now it says here you store on your calculator evaluate each of the following or following more complex functions. So I'm gonna grab my uh, calculator here. All right, and so for us to use store on the calculator, what we want to do is uh, first we're gonna try for a, well, which is negative five, and we're going to type in 3x squared minus five or 4x plus 10. So remember, we're gonna put negative five, uh, negative five, right? Yes, negative 5. Okay, just make sure. All right, so type in negative 5. Remember, negative is on the bottom, bottom right next to the enter button. Negative 5, hit store, and I'm plugging for x. Enter. And the expression we believe was 3x squared minus 5 over 4x plus 10. So parenthesis, because we want to make sure everything's put together. So 3x squared plus 5, 2x squared plus 5. Oh, forgot the square. Oh, shucks. Go backwards. Squared plus 5 plus 5. Close parenthesis. Divide by, I believe it was 4x plus 10. Oh, it was minus 5. Oh, gee whiz. So I can go back here. And 4x plus 10. Parenthesis. 4x plus 10. 
I have such bad memory, ladies and gentlemen. I should you know what I should do. I just I just slide this over. Let me close parentheses here first. Slide this over to take a look, and there it goes. All right, that's that's the way to do this, no. All right, so now we have this here. We're going to evaluate negative 7. So there you go. So we'll plug negative 7 here. Negative 7. Now we try out the same function for f of 0. So now we're going to store 0. 0, store, x, enter. And we're just going to move the cursor up to the calc to, to expression here. Enter. I mean, it makes it much easier to have to rewrite, pre-type everything over again. So, especially when I got everything wrong. So, enter, and we get negative 0.5 or negative one half. Okay. So, negative 0.5. Okay. Now let's continue. So we're gonna do g of so so in g is g of two and g of negative three. So a calculator. Let's clear this, okay? So two, store, x, enter, okay? And our function was gonna be the square root, so second, and I believe, let's see if I can, how far I can move this over. <laughs> uh, here we go. 25 minus x squared over x. So 25, 25 minus, x squared, okay, divided by x. Now, somebody has been saying, why don't I have to put parentheses on this one? Well, the, the, the radical itself acts like a parenthesis, so it should be, it should be, it should work out okay. Um, and so grouping, grouping everything in numerator and then, divide, then doing all the operation underneath the radical, then find the value and then divide by x. So we hit enter. So when x is 2, we get 2.29128487. Uh, that's not going to be a rational number. Although, yeah, it's not going to be a rational number, but mainly because of the fact that 25 minus 2 squared will give you, uh, in this case, 21. The square of 21 is not, is not a uh, perfect square. 21 is, not, 21 is a perfect square. Therefore, you're really going to get square root of 21 over 2. So just to make sure this works out, Let's take a look. The square root of 21, square root of 21, then divide by 2, hopefully gives us the same exact answer. And it does. So, as the exact value, it should be square root of 21 over 2, which approximates to I believe it was 2. 2.291, 2.291, okay. 2.291, it's not exact though, okay? Now let's try negative three. Store, so we'll hit up in negative three. Store, X, enter. And we're going to move this up here to copy the X expression. Enter and enter again, and we get negative 1.333, which we know is repeating decimal. Now, to change repeating decimal into a fraction, uh, we hit math, then enter twice, and we get negative four thirds. Nice, right? So now we have negative four thirds, which is also equal to negative 1.3 repeating. Okay, and now for h of x, which is 30 to the 30 uh, raised to the 30 times 1.2 to the x power. So now h of 3 and h of 0. Okay, so we clear this. 3, store, x, enter. And I believe the expression was 30 times 1.2. Francis. 1.2 raised to the x. So here's how I do this. Carrot button raised to the x power. This is what was called an exponential function. Okay, because exponential function is going to be a function where the variable is the exponent. Okay, you kind of learned it in algebra one, but we'll review that over again.
Enter, and we get 51.84. So that would be 51.84. Okay. And now for h of 0. Oops. h of 0. So here we're going to type in 0. Store. X. Enter. Now, one of the things we know about laws of exponents is that if you raise any number to the power of 0 except for 0, you get 1. So we're going to anticipate a value of 30. We hope so. Oops, too far. Here we go. Highlight. Enter. And we're going to hit Enter again. There we go, 30. All right? So we see how using store helps us again in evaluating, although a lot of you can figure this out on your own. You don't necessarily need to use a calculator, but we see how uh, we can use the graphing calculator to be able to use the store function to be able to uh, evaluate our functions. Okay, so this is going to be end of part one of our function notation homework review. I uh, hope you guys uh, found this helpful, uh, especially in this case of using the calculator. Uh, and of course, just understanding that in function notation is a way for us to understand that the function is a rule. Um, and the idea is that when we have a number in the parenthesis or any item in parenthesis, that's what's going into or replacing the x value into the, in, the, in, the, in the function rule. Okay, so and then we evaluate from there. Hopefully you guys uh, found this helpful. Please leave a like if you did so. Really appreciate that. And also make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications, that little bell, so that when new videos are added, you will get notified because I will be doing videos all throughout the summer to make sure we cover this material. Uh, if you're watching this at the, you know, at the end of June, if you're not, if, this, if you're new to the channel and you know, you're just like, hey, I heard about this video, you guys are you're basically doing homework videos and stuff. Great. Hope they're helpful to check your work. Yeah, okay. So or if you're not sure about stuff, hey, this is hopefully a good way to um to kind of like you know learn material. And also if you have questions, please ask. It's this this case. So this way I can get back to you um and be able to help you further. All right. Thanks so much for watching and appreciate it very much. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and be safe.